save our planet. Concerns mount about climate change driven diseases. Experts have noted that global warming is causing the spread of such infectious diseases as malaria and cholera into Asian and African regions where they had previously never been seen. Unfortunately, many countries lack the necessary infrastructure to respond to these worsening threats, as explained by Kenyan meteorologist Dr. Samuel Marigi in confirming the troubling cases in his country. What we have found is that diseases like malaria, which used to affect low-lying areas near the lake, have actually moved to higher grounds, which never used to be affected. And the people who are living in the higher grounds had not developed any immune systems to fight the malaria. So many people are actually suffering from the disease and the men are dying because of the low immunity. This rising incidence of global warming-related disease has also become a priority concern in Western developed countries, as explained by Mr. Jose Romero, the national focal point to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, or UNFCCC. I come from Switzerland and uh, Europe. Uh, we have uh, now more and more these tropical uh, diseases that are uh, imported, uh, uh, probably also because uh, there is uh, much uh, uh, tourism, uh, traveling, uh, but uh, uh, a concern is uh, that uh, if temperature rises in Europe, uh, then uh, we will have even more tropical diseases uh, like uh, chikungunya and dengue. In the United States, officials have identified spreading diseases as one of the top four climate change related security threats, expressing their concern about an overall lack of preparedness to respond to disease outbreaks. Noting that mosquito-borne dengue fever reappeared in 2009 after a 75-year absence, the previously rare West Nile virus is also now present in 44 of 50 U.S. states. Our thanks Dr. Marici, Mr. Romero and all governments working to assess risk and help residents cope with the challenge of climate-related illnesses. Let us join in concerted efforts to stem the loss of health and lives as well as to save the planet.